morning friends and welcome back. I want to show you how to make these coasters so that you don't use the wrong top coat and have the cup stick to the coaster. You can see that these are wrinkle proof, they are heat proof, they're waterproof and I am going to show you how I did this and I want to say thank you to Debbie from AcrylicPouring.com for making a video where she tested all of these different top coats just for this reason. So here's how I got this started and I have to mention this, you really want to make sure you're using the right decoupage glue because even with the proper top coat, if you're using this one other brand of decoupage glue that's that's been on the market forever, it will get sticky even under the top coat. So guys, I am very specific when I recommend certain products because I've been doing this for about 20 years and I've learned the hard way what to avoid and what to use. I tend to stick with all Americana products. Americana and Deco Art are the same company. So I'm giving you a couple of different ideas here. You see I'm taking this peacock napkin and I'm laying it over two of the tiles because what you could do is you can decoupage right over these two tiles and and the bottom tile will look pretty because it's got the peacock tail and the top uh, part will also look pretty because it's got the top of the peacock so that's one idea and then another idea could be this very elegant baroque pattern and once again you can use one large napkin you can see how well these fit over the tiles and if you're using what is known as a dinner size paper napkin like this it will actually fit over all six tiles I have six tiles here and this one napkin will cover all of those those were just a couple of different ideas to show you to spark some of your creativity but I am using this one single napkin that I have that I've always wondered how I could use and I found it to be perfect for this project and I will include some links down below for some different napkins so that you can try this project yourself and I am going to lay these flat over the tiles which are all put together but before I get started, I wanted to remind you, you always want to make sure you have these little tacky felt protective covers on the back. The idea of the coasters is always to protect your furniture pieces or someone else's if you're giving these away or selling them. So you want to make sure you have these felt adhesive protectors on the back and you want to make sure you do this before you get started on any of our painting or decoupage. And to begin, I'm using the Americana Chalky Finish Paint and I'm going to put one coat over the surface. That's all this takes. And yes, this is a necessary step. If you've got the high gloss tiles, if those are the only ones you can find, you want to make sure you get the Americana chalk paint for glass chalky paint made just for glass and the whole idea of that is decoupage will then stick to your surface and even though this tile is much rougher on the surface I still want to make sure that the decoupage sticks and it has a surface to adhere to which is why we're using this one layer of chalk paint and that chalk paint dries pretty quickly and I'm just going to move all of the tiles close together now and I am using the matte decoupage glue by Americana and I'm going to cover the surface of all six of these with the decoupage glue. Now I'm moving them apart right now because we want to apply the decoupage glue and then let it dry. You also want to make sure you really focus on those edges. Make sure you get the edges with a lot of decoupage glue. Now that the decoupage glue has dried completely, I am taking some parchment paper because I'm going to lay the napkin down over my tiles. 
So you see how my tiles are a little bit on the shiny side, even though I used the matte decoupage glue? The reason for that is because I did put them in the oven at 170 degrees and left them in there for about 20 minutes because when I'm making my videos, I want to move them along a little bit more quickly. So now I'm just taking a little bit of water. I'm going to put it on my fingertips and I'm going to separate the napkin because you just want that very top layer of the napkin. And before you decoupage the napkin down, you want to play around with it a little bit to make sure it fits over your coasters the way that you would like it to. Once in a while, uh, in my haste, I've just decoupaged these down, and then when I'm done, I'll say, oh, I really don't like the way this looks. And it's because I was rushing a little bit, and I did not figure out the way I wanted them to look on the coasters to begin with. While I was doing this, I have a cheap iron that I keep around just for crafting. I had that on the highest temperature with no steam. I then placed my parchment paper down, and you do have to have parchment paper. If you put the, nap the iron directly onto the napkin, you can and will burn it. And I know sometimes I get comments from other countries where they will ask me, what is parchment paper or what else can you use? And I'm not really sure, except to say that whatever you can use in an oven that really takes high temperatures, not aluminum foil, but uh, a paper that is kind of sheer like this, it's almost like wax paper without the wax because, because if you iron over wax paper, you're going to get wax on your coaster and your iron and that is just not the right paper to use. So anything that might be called baking paper in your country. And what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you a little bit of how I go over these. Again, always, always focus on the edges, the ends. The edges, if not secured properly, that can always cause you trouble. So make sure you really focus on the edges. Now, I spent a good three to four minutes ironing this down. You really can't over iron it. And you can see that because these are so close together, the napkins are still stuck together. You don't want to tear them apart. Take a little bit of, if you don't have one of these aqua pens, you can take a very thin paintbrush, dip it in water, and just draw a little line down the center because what's going to happen is the part of the napkin that has been ironed down thoroughly is going to stay on your coaster. But now you can separate these pieces from each other. just going to let those edges dry off for a couple of minutes. Now once everything's dry, I'm just taking a regular nail file. You want to make sure you are filing away from the coaster downward because if you go back and forth or upward, you're going to pull away those edges, which are everything when you want to keep these coasters in one piece and prevent them from peeling. Use your fingertips just to dust away any of the little dust that may have come from filing, but look how there are no wrinkles on this. And we want to now apply one more coat of decoupage glue. So here's a little caution for you. If you did not put a thick enough coat of decoupage glue down in the first time, uh, or if you use this one decoupage glue that I am constantly getting questions about, even though I never work with it, if, if I don't work with it, please don't send me questions about it. I hate this other decoupage glue. It will cause all kinds of problems right here. If you've used the wrong decoupage glue, or if you have not put a thick enough coat on, what's going to happen is right here during this step, you're going to say, I suddenly got wrinkles, I got air bubbles, or something tore. If you are using the right decoupage glue, and this is the only one that I use, 
And if you are making sure that you put a thick enough coat down in that first step, you will be fine right here. And you just want to let these air dry. And now the very last step is you will want to use the proper spray top coat on these. And there are probably hundreds of top coats out there. This is the only one that I have used where the cup does not stick. So you wanna make sure if you're giving these away as gifts, if you're selling them, if you're using them for around your house and you have company over, you want to make sure you are not using the wrong spray top coat. And I will have that link down below. I got it from another woman who's been testing these products for a long time and she has tried everything out on the market. So the very first link below, underneath my ebook that is, successful decoupage every time will be the link to the proper top coat thing the links for any of the other products most of the other products will be down below also and i wanted to mention if you're giving these as a gift or if you're selling them you can put them in a nice stack put some twine around them some burlap or ganza silk ribbon, whatever you think. You can mix two or three ribbons that match the colors of your coasters. And these make a beautiful presentation. So guys, this is how you make foolproof coasters. And make sure you're using all of the right products so you don't have any complaints or so you don't you, you don't have that embarrassing situation where someone goes to pick up their coffee cup and it actually sticks to the coaster because I have been experimenting with these top coats for a while myself and those cups with boiling hot tea or coffee in them actually cause the top coat to get sticky and melt and it sticks right to your cup when you pick it up. <laughs> that is pretty embarrassing. So anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Upcycle with Decoupage is over on Facebook. If you go and like and follow that page, you'll be notified every week about all types of different things. Uh, my ebook link is over there. The ebook link is below. Successful decoupage every time. And guys, thank you so much for purchasing my book. Thank you for subscribing. And if I can, I will be back next week to make another video. It's another reason you want to stick with me on Facebook. I post about things that are going on. Sometimes I can't quite get to YouTube. Lots of good things are happening, and I can't always get to the videos. So thanks again, my friends. I will see you guys as soon as I can. Be well. Enjoy the fall. Bye-bye.